Okay, now the Mako has a lot of new features on the board and uh, here's how we connect them all up. Probably the most exciting feature I think, or besides the uh, LED connection, is the uh, automatic servo recoil. Okay, now that pin for connection is this, uh, this jumper, well, this uh, connection pin's right here. To connect up your servo, first of all you should really, um, well it's set up for one of these Servo modifications, the instructions for which are on the RC Tanks Australia forum website. Um, very simple to make one of these servo modifications. Also very cheap, uh, $4, $5 for the servo and that's all you need to pay. Okay, so we connect up the servo such that the signal wire is towards the bottom of the board. Okay, it simply connects up into this pin right here like so. Okay. So that's our servo connected. The next thing, next function, additional function of Mako 2 is that uh, we can also have a LED flash. Now I particularly like LED flashes. Um, if I can get the poke, there we go. I have an LED inside this barrel rather than the uh, bigger flash unit. The connection for your Canon LED flash is a bit hard to get to with this thing in the road, but it's uh, just behind the terminal blocks for the motor right there, up in here. Uh, two pins there. The outermost pin is the positive wire, so make sure the red is towards the outside of the board and we simply connect up the LED like so. Okay, so that's our servo and our cannon flash all connected up. The other thing we might want to connect up if we do have a hammerhead unit is the LED connection for the hammerhead. Okay, again, that connects up to this port that you'll see right here. And also remember we have the onboard LED. So if you are connecting up a hammerhead, it's probably best to disable the onboard LED. And to do that, you simply remove the jumper and just place it over one spot. Okay, once that is done, simply connect up the LEDs for the hammerhead. Again, the positive wire should be towards the outside of the board. Make sure that's all good. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, the only other jumper we have on the hammerhead, oh sorry, on the Mako, is our Burger Panzer jumper, which is located here. If we were set up as a repair tank, all we need to do is simply remove the jumper, place it over one spot, and by doing so, we limit the range of the IR signal that's fired. Okay, that's how we set up as a repair tank. But we are set up as a battle tank, so we want the jumper fully closed. Okay, so that's uh, all the connections. Well, not all the connections, there's two connections there, but we talked about those just before. Um, there's most of the connections connected up to the Mako 2. Now, let's see all of that in action. Let's turn our unit on. Okay, and as you can see here, our lights are now flashing on our hammerhead unit. Okay, once that's all started up, we can turn our unit on. Now, for those of you that have not seen in the previous video the uh, action of the recoil, I'll just run through that again. Okay, so. Here is our recoil unit with our flash. You'll notice too that I've got the motors connected up and uh, we have that horrible track recoil and I'll deal with that in a later video snippet. So let's look at the recoil itself. Get that all in there. Okay, so that's our servo recoil, our cannon flash and our hammerhead LEDs all connected up there for our Mako.